I'm not in my usual location. Um, I'm actually in Southern California right now. Me and my boyfriend drove down here for a car show. And then I think we're gonna stretch it out, like stretch the trip out till next weekend because um, the makeup show LA is next, or this coming, I guess it would be now, Saturday and Sunday. And I've never been to a makeup event type of thing ever. I've only seen videos and stuff like that on YouTube, of like iMats and um, beauty con and all those types of things and I'm pretty excited about it. The plan is to hook up with Trisha from A Glittery Life and go uh, do that which I'm so excited about. She's a she's a cool chick man so um, I'm, I'm really excited about that. I've never been to anything of the sort but in the meantime since we drove down here that we don't have a Walgreens at home we just have a CVS which is still like 100 miles away. Uh, <laughs> I had the boys stop at like four or five Walgreens down. <laughs> uh, one in Butte, Montana. I think one was in Ogden, Utah, St. George. And then did we go to another one? I know there was like four of them. <laughs> anyway, I was on the hunt for the Wet n Wild 10 pan eyeshadow palettes that I believe are Walgreens exclusives. And I haven't been able to find those yet. Um, I found a display of them, but they were all sold out. And then I've, I've also been looking for the Silver Lake collection from Wet n Wild, which are the new six pan palettes. And I managed to score three of those and the new blushes and a couple other little drugstore items. And then yesterday I moseyed over to a Nordstrom and picked up just a couple items. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you guys because I kind of been MIA <laughs> for a minute because I've been on the road. So anyway, let's dive in. And we're just working with a big window back here for lighting. So hopefully it's not too like washed out and stuff like that. I'm not real experienced with the natural lighting thing. So we're just gonna have to roll with it. <laughs> so oh, I did pick up the new Wet n Wild Fergie blushes. Uh, they came out with three of them, I believe. And it's the center stage collection. And these are really beautiful. This first one is uh, Brush with Danger, and it is a satin looking pink color. Oh, I feel like this is gonna, there you can kind of see it, I guess. If I hold it up to the lens closer, you can kind of see it. Right about there is what it looks like. But um, these blushes are beautiful, like really, really awesome for the money. I wonder if it's worth swatching all this stuff for you guys. Oh, it's showing up, I guess, right? But anyway, these blushes are great. This one is Brush with Danger. And then the other two here, this is Brush with Destiny. And this one is kind of a peach with some gold shimmer in it. I wore this one yesterday and it's it's really beautiful. This is what, I'm just hoping this will pick up. But that is that one. A really pretty peach. It's kind of a NARS orgasm-ish type of a color. And then the last one is called um, Brush with Brilliance. And this is beautiful as well. This is a, um, oh, this one might be a little bit more corally. This one's a little bit closer to NARS orgasm, I think. That corally with the gold in there. It's a little bit deeper than the last one. That is what those look like. They're beautiful blushes. And then they have the new Elf and Frozen Disney collection out. And I know that they've done a slew of different collections, um, Elf with um, paired with Disney, but I'm not near Walgreens, so I've missed out on a lot of that. But they had, they had that whole display there. And so I picked up two things and I couldn't resist the packaging on this. It's the Elf Snow and Ice Glow Eyeshadow. Like the cutest packaging ever. And I was surprised to see that, I mean, for Elf, I mean, I'm, the packaging is really cute and stuff, but the bigger palette was kind of expensive. I think it was like $16.99 for the cardboard version, which that's kind of expensive for what those are, like the e.l.f. Um, makeup books or whatever. So anyway, I got this one because the packaging was cute and I want to say it was like six or seven dollars. Um, I have not used, I haven't used a lot of this stuff. I used the, um, the blushes and a concealer that I bought, but... I saw um, Loie Lane do a video on this and she said that this was pretty good and from the looks of it, it is pretty good. So that is this palette here and it's super cute. Super, super cute. Um, everything in here is looks to be shimmery except for maybe this purple is a, a satin color right there. But And then the other item I got from that collection is the Icicle Face Palette. And this has got like a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight in it. The bronzer is a little bit of a strange color, but the blush and highlight are really pretty. I think will work out pretty good on me, but the, the bronzer, um, this might be more like a highlight on a medium deep skin tone actually. Actually, it'll probably pretty highlight on a medium deep skin tone, but 
packaging is cute on this one too but not quite as cute as the packaging on the eyeshadow palette Wet n Wild also added another one of their quints to the um, Fergie collection, and this is the Camouflage Couture. And I know this one looks really similar to another limited edition green one that I have from the Fergie Center Stage collection, but I don't have it to compare, obviously. <laughs> but this is what it looks like right here. This is the first time I'm swatching a lot of this stuff. Oh, it looks, it looks really pretty. I love my greens. So that is um, Camouflage Couture. And then I did manage to get three of the five uh, six pan palettes from the Silver Lake and Wet n Wild collection. And the the pink one, and I believe the new, neutral brown one, they were sold out. I found, I think, two displays, and both times those particular two palettes were sold out. So <laughs> I'm still gonna be on the hunt. We got all the way home to go to be hunting for them. So. <laughs> Um, this first one here is, uh, it's called Vegan Culture, and it's like pretty aqua colors, greens and blues and a sil silver in here. Let's uh, check out the, ooh, these feel really nice. I know that Wet n Wild has gone back to um, more of their older formula, like when Wet n Wild was really, really great, and then for a minute there they switched up their formula, and I know that they're going back to their older formula. So lately, um, they've been really more on the hit side than the miss side so that's really awesome i loved i don't know why i just i love to collect these <laughs> palettes from wet and wild <laughs> so that's uh vegan culture and then i got california roll which this one's just kind of unique with aquas and, and some lime greens and then these uh it's kind of like a matte red and an orange in there so um i like to pair funky colors like this together so i'm kind of excited to use this guy but swatch a couple of these ones Oh, these are really showing up great for swatching, anyway. It's always another story when you go to use them, but um, I've heard that uh, some of them are really, really good and some of them are okay, so I don't have the other two to compare, but these ones are swatching really good. And then the third one I was able to get is called Embrace Obscurity, and it is the purple and blues. These feel so nice. It's crazy. This one's a little bit stiffer, but these ones are really buttery. Oh, those are so pretty. They're like Easter egg colors. So that's um, Embrace Obscurity right there. Nice. I'm really excited about these. <laughs> One of the Walgreens also had two um, new brand displays that are coming out, I believe, exclusively at Walgreens. One of those brands is Circa. They had a fresh display of both Circa and this other brand I'm going to show you. Um, I was in a, like a mad dash in and out type of thing because I mean, we we're traveling and stuff. So I just grabbed one thing from the Circa line uh, and it's just a little eyeshadow trio. Ooh, I just dropped the sponge tip applicator, but this is what the packaging looks like on here. And I grabbed this purple type of a trio. Um, the highlight shade right here is a matte and then these two right here are kind of uh, shimmery. But Seems fair. Oh, that's not good to swatch over that. I don't have a like a makeup wipe. <laughs> so let's go with these colors right there is what they look like. So well, we'll see. This color here is really pretty. It's like a taupey Topi shade. What is this called? Oh, 03 Visionary is the name of the, the trio there. And then the other brand that's new to Walgreens um, is called Noni Cream. And I saw these palettes, I want to say it was on Nouveau Cheap first. Um, and there's three of them in total and I grabbed all three of them. The packaging to me <laughs> is really pretty. It's like, like a butterfly wing. So you can see right there, it's uh, Noni Cream is what it's called. Um, this one here is the Nude and Neutral palette. Um, one of the things that I found that was kind of funny about it is you'd think that, you know, this is the wing side, you open it up like this, but you actually don't. You open it with the back side up like that. <laughs> and it's got a cute little writing in here. I think it's more so because the, the holes are on this side, so you're essentially supposed to like hold it like a like a palette, you know, which I, I think is kind of neat. The packaging is cardboard, but um, for drugstore, it's it's seemingly substantial. The, the This top cover part is a little thin, but um, it comes with eight shadows in here and then a little um, brush right here. So this is what this looks like. It is called the Nude and Neutral. Uh, here, let me take this out. The Nude and Neutral palette right there. And I did uh, like swatch a couple of these with my, on my fingers 
and they feel really nice. Um, these were kind of pricey for the drugstore. I think they were 16 bucks a piece. Um, so, you know, kind of on the spendy side, but look at how pretty these colors are. And the packaging, I think it's, it's a little something different anyway, so there's some of the swatches. And then here's this again. And this one looks like that right there. And then this next one is the Marvelous Mats. And this is what the packaging on this one looks like. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> and then, of course, you open it, like, backwards. You have to, like, flip it over and open it backwards. Otherwise, the little brush thing will fall out. And the colors in here look like that. Right there. This color is kind of unique up there. It's like a golden green type of a shade. But let's swatch a couple of these. So that one is the um, Marvelous Mattes palette from Noni Cream, right there. And then the last palette like that from that line is called the Smoky and Smudgy palette, like that. Um, this one here, one of the palettes, the colors on the back looks nothing like the colors in the um, actual package, which I was like, maybe they had like a ink error <laughs> or something <laughs> but this one also comes with a little brush but this one is kind of more on the you know the smoky side of things right there so let's give you some swatches these feel really nice I'm excited to use these so that is what those look like a couple of the swatches pretty nice also from the Noni Cream line, I picked up five of these eyeliners. I thought that they looked quite promising. <laughs> um, it's called the Noni Cream Color Prevails Eye Calligraphy Liquid Liner. How cute, right? Is that little butterfly wing there? It's kind of it was kind of handy because you can like grip your you know kind of like that N Y X liner that has that little curve the curve liner or whatever. It kind it's kind of like that when you hold the the thing here. But um, I picked up five. I tried two, and I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna take them back simply because the the applicator it's like a plastic a solid plastic nib and it's kind of kind of hard um, so the uh, the actual applicator doesn't absorb any of any product because it's not brush or it's not felt so it, it literally doesn't absorb any product and it makes applying it really really weird um, so I, I really did not like the application I tried to stick my own eyeliner brush in here as well and I couldn't get it um, deep enough into the well to pick up any eyeliner because I thought I could use it like that but I like the idea of having a nice well with quite a bit of product in there um, but that's just not gonna work out this blue one though is called navy I guess I could just show you guys the other colors. I, I This one's the black one. It's still in the packaging. Um, then there's this metallic gray color right here. And then this green one, which I tried to wear yesterday. It's called Hunter Green. Um, and these did dry kind of on the more crusty side as well, like the formula. So I didn't like that either. Um, and then the last one was is just a basic uh, brown one. I really, I really like the idea though. So I'm kind of sad that the execution wasn't as flawless as I was hoping for. <laughs> Wet n Wild also came out with these new Come Correct Celebrity Concealers. Um, it comes in a squeeze tube like so. I picked up the shade Fair, which I did like the color. I used this yesterday. Um, it's okay. Um, it covers really well. It didn't blend quite as nicely as I like to, but um, it did a decent job, but I'm not in love with it. But I do like the color of it. Let's do a little swatch here. It was light enough for me. <laughs> so that's a little uh, swatch of it right there in the shade Fair. So it's got really good, really good coverage though. So maybe more of a face type of concealer than under eye, I think. Although it claims to, you know, do it all. <laughs> Walgreens was um, buy one, get one half off on all the Wet n Wild as well. So um, I did pick up two of the Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Colors, which I haven't heard the greatest things of, but I thought these colors looked really, really pretty. Uh, this first one, which is like a lavender shade, is called the Standout. And it's like a, um, a really pretty lavender, I, like a pinky lavender. And I mean, upon first swatch, I don't think it's that bad. So again, I haven't used it yet, so I, I can't um, speak on that. But I, I mean, it doesn't swatch too bad, I don't think. Um, and then the other color is called Cream Sickle Kitty, which is like a um, peachy type of a shade. I haven't swatched this one at all. So let's 
Let's see. That one doesn't look so bad either. And then when we got down here um, to the hotel, uh, we went to Walmart to grab some snacks and some whatever type of things and I strolled over to the makeup aisle <laughs> and they had the new, the blush nudes palette from Maybelline, which this is what it looks like right there. And it's kind of, it's kind of a take on the, what, the Naked 3 palette. And I just swatched these earlier and based off of swatching alone, like finger swatching, I did just get it so I haven't used it. Um, this one does feel kind of nicer than the other three. Um, that have come out. I think that they swatch kind of nice here. So, it's, and it's got like a ro rose gold type uh, plastic packaging. So that's just a couple of the shades right there. I don't have a makeup wipe to like wipe all this off of myself. <laughs> I'll swatch a couple more of these colors here. There's a couple more of the shades. From that palette so um it'll be interesting I, I wasn't that impressed with the other other three but we shall see I like the here let's go like that right there I feel like this lighting is really washing everything out but and then yesterday when I strolled over to Nordstrom's I really wanted to try the Lancome Effa Cernus waterproof long-lasting under eye concealer um, my buddy Rachel from makeup never sleeps recommended this to me and I got the shade porcelain one uh, 110 and I asked the gal is this the lightest shade and she said that it was and there's another lighter shade called ivory or ivoire um, Which I think I'm gonna have to get this is oh, this is it's okay But I like a little bit more brightness underneath my eyes I have it on today and I set it with the the Dior nude air powder which I'll show you in a minute as well and um, So far though, I really like the way that it looks like that the actual texture and stuff like that underneath the eyes looks really really pretty so um, it hasn't like creased on me or anything like that but I do think I'm, I may get the I might I might keep this one as well um, to mix possibly with the lightest shade I'm not sure but so far so good on this guy let's do a little swatch of it here on the hand right there <laughs> I'm like wondering when I edit if these swatches are going to be even helpful because the lighting is so I don't know. I'm not good with the whole natural lighting thing. <laughs> but that is the shade 110 Porcelain. And yeah, I'm liking it so far. And then I set that concealer and also the um, Dr. Jart BB Cream, which is on my face uh, today as well. I set all of it with the Dior Skin Nude Air Loose Powder in 010 Ivory or Ivoire. Um, the lady said this is the lightest shade as well and I think that it looks really really pretty it's really a light airy type of a powder uh, I like the texture and stuff like that and what, underneath the eyes it looks it looks nice as well this is what the container looks like and it comes with a um, 0.56 ounces of product which is pretty good and I just got the lightest shade and it does come with a puff I don't think swatching this is going to do <laughs> do any justice so <laughs> and then I picked up one other thing from um, Bobby Brown and I was intrigued by this when I had seen it online but I purchased um, one of these products from Sephora a while back and it was so so bad that I sent it back so I was happy that I was able to go to a counter and swatch them because these are they were they were pretty it's the Bobby Brown brightening brick in pastel pink and this is so pretty it's what it's literally a pastel pink color and it's just right up my alley. They had some really pretty um, apricot shades and peachy shades and stuff like that too, but I just went with this guy right here, which is a really pretty pastel pink color. It feels a little little dr on the dry side of a powder, but on the cheeks, um, I wore this today, and then I put a little bit of a, um, um, a MAC blush over the top of it because it was rolling with my blue eyeliner. Anyway, <laughs> it's a really pretty pastel pink color that's right up my alley, so. I will be keeping this guy right there. So that's all the damage I've done so far <laughs> since I've been down here. I'm trying to contain myself. Like I didn't go wild at Nordstrom's and um, Macy's yesterday or anything like that because the plan is to stay down here for the makeup show. So, And then too, I think uh, Trisha's, Trisha's gonna take me to the NARS boutique, which is where she uh, works sometimes. And then um, also I think Namie's and Nigel's and stuff. I've heard all about these like Namie's and stuff like that and I've, I've never been. <laughs> so I'm really excited about it. <laughs> so there will probably be a haul coming soon. I don't know if it'll be, you know, while, while I'm still down here or, or when I make it back home or not, but in any event, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and sort of kind of found it helpful or entertaining or something. So uh, thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later.